Good morning, Nancy with the Hospice Care Plan. You know, since Brenda and I posted a playlist on who's included on the hospice team, I've had some questions about what happens when my loved one or I'm on palliative care and I want to go to hospice? How does the team change? Now, every hospice is different in how they manage this, but let's remind everyone that hospice is a subsection of palliative care. We're under the umbrella of palliative care. So oftentimes when a patient is on palliative care, they are able, they have a diagnosis that is not curable, but they are still focused on having both treatment for that illness and to make sure that they are comfort, they're getting comfort, comfort care. In the facility, the department that I work in, we hospice nurses float both ways. What helps then is that we build a trusting relationship with a patient who's on palliative care because they are knowing that eventually they will want to come onto the side of hospice care. There is a division in the Medicare payment, uh, so that's something to consider. And your, your palliative team, which is on a home health side, will help you with those kind of questions. But generally, one of the best things about having nurses that can go to the palliative side is that we are so very skilled in managing symptoms. So we can help those home health nurses who haven't had the experience with extreme symptom management to make sure their patient is comfortable during palliative care and then we build a trusting relationship with the patient and the family. So when they come on to hospice, it does not feel so abrupt. They have a relationship with us and it makes for a much more comfortable path on the hospice side of things. I hope that answers those questions for you. And if you have more, please watch more of our videos at the Hospice Care Plan on YouTube or go to our website careplan.net and purchase our booklet that goes through all that those symptoms and how to manage them. Thanks.